functions are instructions that the automation solution must perform. Let's take a look at one of the functions used in our example solution. Here is part of the workflow that our solution will follow every time the agent clicks create account. The first step in the process is to open the new account window. To open the window, the automation solution needs to click on the new button. In the previous lesson, we captured that new button is a screen element. Let's find it in the assets tree. Here it is. Below it we can see a number of functions or methods. Each one is an instruction to perform some action on the button. We need the click function. We will drag the click function into the builder area of that workflow step. Now, when this workflow step is reached, the automation solution will click that new button. You can also create your own user-defined functions. You build these up from other functions. Our solution includes this user-defined function, which checks that all fields in the callout form have been completed. In the next lesson, we will see how this user-defined function is used in our sample solution. To create a new user-defined function, click the Define a function button, then drag in the required functions. Let's see how events are used in our sample solution. Events are raised when something occurs in the solution or on the agent's machine. Automation Studio supports many different events. Some events are listed under built-in services. For example, the clipboard changed event is raised whenever the user copies new content to the clipboard. Events are also listed for our screen element. For example, the created event is raised when the button is first created on the screen. One of the main uses for events are event handlers. An event handler is a mechanism that continually listens for a specified event and performs specified actions whenever that event occurs. To create a new event handler, click the New Event Handler button. In our example solution, an event handler is used to load the legacy CRM and display the simplified account creation form as soon as the solution is loaded. To set the event to listen for, drag the project loaded event from the built-in services into the when area. This event is raised when the solution is first loaded on the agent's machine. To load the legacy CRM, drag the execute command line function into the do area and specify its parameters. You can drag as many functions as needed into the do area. They will all be performed in order when the project is loaded.